we're going to continue our look now at the films that are out for the school holidays by taking a look at Inside Out 2. Yes, Pixar are back with Inside Out 2. Now, of course, the first Inside Out movie was quite interesting because I found that people either really loved it or were like me and really hated it. Now, this time around, the film Inside Out 2 is directed by Kelsey Mann, and it's set a few years after the original film and finds young Riley, voiced by Kensington Tallman, now a teenager, along for the ride are her original emotions, uh, Joy, voiced by Amy Poehler, uh, Fear, voiced by Tony Hale, Anger, voiced by Lewis Black, Disgust, voiced by Lisa Lapira, and Sadness, voiced by Phyllis Smith, who feel like they have everything under control in Riley's mind and body. However, that all ends when Riley wins a place to an exclusive ice hockey camp, and as she prepares for the camp, she realizes that this is the perfect opportunity to land on her dream team, the Firehawks, and feels that in order to do that, she must impress the team's star player, Val, voiced by Lilima. She then feels even more pressure when her best friends tell her that they won't be going to the same high school as her. Now, with all this going on, suddenly her emotions also find themselves under stress when the puberty alarm goes off inside Riley's body and suddenly all of Riley's emotions seem to be intensified and then to throw another spanner in the works, new emotions led by anxiety voiced by Maya Hawks arrive and they simply take over. So, uh, Lee, what did you think of Inside Out 2? Oh, I love this. Um, I th- I think they've been quite clever in... Um, the first movie um, was for a younger age group, I think, and, you know, th- those young people have now grown up a little, and so the kids that watched the original are probably now at the stage of um, of Riley's age now of, um, yep. you know, she's hit that puberty mark. And so um, I think they're clever because now they've got, um, they've got that following of those kids probably not thinking that this movie is for little kids because it's grown up with them, if that makes sense. Um, now, I loved the mu- new emotions um, and I loved watching um, what young people go through when they're moving into that step of, you know, going from primary school to high school. Um, but everything that goes with that, you know, the, the emotions that, you know, of you might be um, a little bit rude to your family and you've got so much going inside on inside that um, that you're not always a nice person. And we'll be frank here, Riley was not always nice in this movie. Mm. <laughs> there were things that she was doing to impress um, new friends and to block out old friends because she just couldn't, cope with what was happening to her and the fear of moving forward in life and facing the unknown was getting to her and of course a disappointment that her friends weren't going to go to the same school as her now this is what happens to kids in real life so I think a lot of kids will identify with this storyline um and I feel like this can be an encouraging thing for kids to watch because um not only does it show you the hardest of times and um, all those mixed up emotions, but, you know, there's a resolve that comes where Riley starts to make the right choices and um, helps to calm her emotions and to kind of make sensible decisions after making so many mistakes. Um, yeah, the, the film itself is fun as well. Lots of fun, very colourful, um, and I actually think that this storyline, I loved the first Inside Out, but I really loved this one. I think it's taken us, it's a step up, I think, with this one, um, and I think that, like the first one, I think this movie is going to be used by many counsellors and youth workers and, you know, people working with kids. Um, I certainly have used the 
first movie um, to help kids recognise emotions and to talk through things. I actually think this is going to be another resource um, for parents and um, youth workers and, you know, other professionals to use to help kids. Yeah, I thought this one was a much better film. I thought the first film was kind of a mess in what it was trying to um, do, whereas this film uses the emotions inside Riley's body really, really well. Two of my favourite coming-of-age movies are Almost Famous and The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and I would almost put this film right up there as well, because this film does something that not a lot of films do, and that is it almost normalises anxiety and says, you know what, anxiety is something that some people suffer from, um... And it's not something that they can really help, but there's measures that can be used to kind of get the person over having an anxiety attack or something like that. Um, It's interesting because a lot of the times, like I'm thinking of a few movies I've seen Steve Carell do over the years and things like that, where they'll make out that somebody who's got anxiety can barely function or, um, or... I don't know the right word, like, they almost want to put it into a a category with, like, a severely disabled person or something like that, whereas this movie kind of shows that, you know what, it's actually okay if somebody has a little bit of anxiety, it's normal, it's it's human nature, Um, it's how you deal with it when you're going through one of those times, and I think that's something that's such an important message, um to give to teenagers because I know even when I was at high school in the 90s if you suffered from anxiety or depression you were kind of seen as a as a pariah or there was something severely wrong with you um so I thought that was a really really good part um of this film I also marvel at the world that the creators of this film have created inside Riley like everything from past memories through to Memories that she doesn't really need to hold on to. um, Memories that help make her her and things like that. I thought that whole world was absolutely amazing. And it surprised me because um, for me, I've found over the last few years, Pixar have suffered a little bit. Um, One of my favorite movies of all time is a Pixar movie, Monsters, Inc. And a few years ago, they tried to recreate Monsters, Inc. with Monsters University, and it was a it was a flop. Um, it wasn't liked by fans of the original film, and that's happened to them a lot over the last few years, if you think about it. You had Finding Dory, which fans of Finding Nemo didn't really enjoy. You had Lightyear, which fans of Toy Story didn't really enjoy. And um, Elemental ended up being an absolute box office flop. So... It's good to see Pixar kind of go back to what they're good at, and that is making animated films with absolute heart, because I thought this film had a lot of heart, and like you said, I think it's a very, very important film. Um, I think it's an important film for families to sit down and watch together, um, especially if you've got a young teenager or even a, a teenager that's like 15, 16. I think this is a very important film to sit down and watch with them. Yeah. And I think even the way that they depicted joy, now joy is full of joy and happiness really, but even joy struggled. Um, There were times where joy had to get through things to find her joy um, because of the challenges put before her. Especially with anxiety. Especially with anxiety. (laughs) So you had all these other emotions interplaying and um, interrupting joy. but at the same time, she had to find the, you know, the emotion joy had to find her way through it. So there was, yeah, there was a number of emotions. You've already mentioned some, but there was embarrassment, um, and there was envy, there was sadness, anger, fear, mm. disgust, anxiety, joy. Yep, definitely. So, Lee, what are you going to give uh, Inside Out 2 out of 5 and why? I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. I loved the world that was created. Um, I loved the way that the emotions interacted and how some emotions were locked out by other emotions and 
the way that Riley ended up finding her way through it. Um, and, you know, certain emotions ended up um, overtaking others, which was more healthy for Riley. Um, I'm giving it for our five because I think it's a great resource for, as you said, families, but I also think even professionals to use and to help kids. Um, and I think even if a kid just watches it without adult oh. adult intervention or um, discussions, it's um, it's really helpful to them. Yeah, I'm going to give it four and a half out of five. I think this is a, a very, very important film. And we also see Pixar back at its very best with this film. Inside Out 2 is a general release. So make sure you check your local cinema guide because it should be showing in a cinema near you.